the most accurate way to record your blood pressure at home, coming up right now. Hey there, I'm Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. Most of my videos are done about RVs, but today this is very, very important. I know um, I've been tracking my blood pressure for quite some time. Many of you have. It's extremely important to track your blood pressure on your own at home um, because blood pressure is uh, hypertension. Blood pressure is um, considered the, the silent killer, and which means there are no symptoms, generally no symptoms. And you could have high blood pressure, which could be doing really serious damage to your body, to your organs without knowing it. So I really recommend checking your blood pressure at home. However, the problem is I've had over many years is that um, it's been, my readings have been inaccurate. I, I use an Omron machine. I'm gonna show you something that I learned recently that's gonna give you the most accurate readings ever. Um, but with my Omron, I was actually getting fairly low readings. It was giving me a false sense of security that everything was fine when it really wasn't. So um, what I did, I just did a lot of trial and error um, testing and I found a way to um, record the most accurate blood pressure readings at home. Here's what I did. So um, the Omron, for some reason, I think it wasn't working well, mainly because of the cuff. And even though the cuff feels good and looks good, um, it just wasn't really accurate. And by the way, this is gonna work with any machine you have, any Omron or probably even any other machine you have. What I did, I pulled the, pulled the um, cuff out of here and I'm not gonna use the Omron cuff, but I am gonna use, you need to have this um, attachment here. So just pull, pull, it, pull it apart and keep this little attachment. This is very important because this is the only thing that's gonna go into the Omron machine or whatever machine you have. Um, to hook another tube up. Now, what I did, I went um, to Walgreens and picked up a $20 blood pressure kit. This is one of the manual kits. So, so it comes with um, not only a blood pressure cuff, I'll show you, but um, so it comes with a blood pressure cuff, a gauge, a bulb, and it also comes with a, if it's in here, I don't know where it is, maybe I lost it. Or, oh, here it is, a stethoscope. You can put the stethoscope aside. You, don't, you won't need to use it. You pretty much have to be trained to, to know what to listen for when you're using a stethoscope to take your blood pressure. But I've tested this myself. I am trained to do it and I've tested it. And what I'm gonna share with you definitely works. I don't really even know exactly why it works so well. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about, but it does work. Trust me, because I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. So um, here's the cuff that comes from Walgreens. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take the bulb off because I'm not gonna inflate this manually with the bulb. I'm gonna let my Omron machine inflate this cuff. So take the bulb off, put it aside somewhere, save it in case you ever need it for anything else, but just take the empty tubing, empty side of the tubing, and now you're gonna plug it into your Omron machine where the cuff used to be, just like that. So now with my Amron, I have just my Walgreens, my Walgreens cuff and gauge. Again, you don't even have to use this gauge at all. I've used it, I've tested it, but you can just kind of put it aside. You don't, you don't need it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my Walgreens cuff on. Now, when you're taking your blood pressure, always make sure you're comfortably seated. You should have your back against a firm, a fair, at least a fairly firm surface. Um, legs are not crossed. I'm gonna put my cuff on. This, again, this is my Walgreens cuff. The Omron cuff is, is already taken apart. Um, I've already preset this to be the right size for me, but um, if you're getting one, um, you have to make sure it's, it's, it's snug, but not too snug. You wanna be able to get at least probably a couple fingers in here. Um, so it shouldn't be too, too tight. Um, whoops, sorry about that. Now, um, before you take your blood pressure, you should always just sit and do some breathing for a few minutes. In other words, you shouldn't be too excited or anxious. You should just relax for a few minutes before you take your blood pressure. Um, I'm gonna, when I turn this machine on, it automatically will inflate this cuff and I'm just gonna let it do its thing. It's, so instead of using the bulb, this machine, the Omron machine, is inflating the cuff. Now, the weird thing about this, and I'm not sure, I can't even explain why this works, um, the Walgreens cuff, there's no stethoscope or there's no microphone in here, but somehow the Omron still is able to sense it. So here you go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And if you wanna get the camera in here a little bit so you can see what my blood pressure is here.
Okay, so here is my reading of 123 over 77 with a pulse of 46. My pulse is, my resting pulse is usually pretty, very, very low just because I guess maybe a lifetime athlete, I'm not really sure, but um, it's not to be, I'm not concerned about low pulse. Um, I am very, very, very confident that this is an accurate reading, 123 over 77. Whereas if I would have just used my Omron with the cuff that came with it, it probably could have been at least 10 milligrams of mercury lower on each the uh, systolic and diastolic, which again, sounds really good, but it would be a false reading and that would not be really doing me any good. So again, I just hope you enjoy this. I've shown this to work. I've compared it actually with my doctor's readings. I've taken this into my doctor's office. Um, I've listened to it with the stethoscope. I've compared and compared and compared. And this is a very, very accurate way to read your blood pressure at home. If you don't have, if you're not in the U.S. or if you don't have a Walgreens near you, um, maybe go online and see if they have it. You can get one online because this is the one I found for some reason, I can't explain it, that works the best, at least for me. The cuff is very, very, very important. Hope this helped and um, I'm Dr. Dave. I will see you soon.